Hello and welcome to our talk series where we invite industry professionals to answer what is GFRP VIVAS, its recommendation, related research and more. Lately, there has been a lot of buzz in Indian construction industry about GFRP VIVAS. Today, we have with us PhD research student of IIT Hyderabad with us, Ganpati Patil. Come on, let's begin. Hello, Ganpati Patil. Tell us more about yourself. So, yeah. Uh, myself, Ganapati Ampatil, presently working as an assistant professor at Siddhanga Institute of Technology, Tumpur, Karnataka. So before jo joining SIT, I was a PhD scholar at IIT Hyderabad. So my area of interest in research uh, basically is uh, application of uh, FRP uh, composites in construction. So particularly my PhD work is uh, on GFRP as an internal reinforcement. Okay. What inspired you to choose GFRP rebars as your subject for PhD research? So uh, basically, GFRP is, uh, you see, uh, it's an emerging reinforcement material in, for India, even though uh, it is uh, being used in several developed countries uh, for, for uh, almost three decades. We understand, we understood that India needs sustainable reinforcement uh, for several special applications, such as uh, we have a long coastline area about 7,500 kilometers. So hmm. we need uh, a specific kind of reinforcement, an alternative, uh, which can serve the purpose. So that was the primary reason, one thing, and uh, which will serve the purpose and construction industry problems for alternative reinforcement, basically, uh, for the special application where corrosion is big issue and uh, where uh, the non-magnetic reinforcement uh, is uh, essential need to be used in such cases. And uh, some of the challenges in my study, uh, which I faced, are uh, ductility related issue because these FRPs are brittle in nature. These are uh, basically elastic in nature and they'll suddenly fail after reaching the ultimate force. And let's so, see which we have addressed the research gap using these uh, uh, discrete fibers, uh, some kind of fibers. Uh, these are small fibers which are being uh, used in the concrete itself so that we can improve the ductility related problems. My research is basically uh, using these GFRP as an internal reinforcement in beams and columns. Uh, we have developed uh, uh, with Professor uh, Surya Prakash from IIT Hyderabad, my guide. So we have developed uh, a concrete system where uh, we are improving the ductility of these GFRP rebars along with addition of these discrete fibers. These are small fibers, basically, which we are adding to the concrete while preparing itself. So there is a ductility problem when we uh, use this uh, GFRP, especially in columns and beams. Yes. So we have developed this PM interaction behavior okay. uh, by experimentally, by extensive experimental full-scale behavior uh, understanding, and along with the numerical study also. So we have done the numerical study also on this uh, topic, same thing. So what we understood is uh, by adding these fibers, with a, we have considered basically three dosages of these discrete fibers in concrete by the volume of the concrete. Yeah. So 0 0.35, 0 0.7 and 1% by the volume of the concrete. Okay. So what uh, we have observed is by using these fibers, uh, uh, there is a more ductile behavior from the concrete part that we are getting. Okay. So not from the reinforcement part. Yeah. So all these overall column reinforced. becomes more ductile. Yeah. Basically overall uh, column becomes more ductile. These okay. are over reinforced uh, uh, mode of failure. Basically okay. when we use uh, uh, GFRP as a reinforcement. Yes. Over reinforced mode of failure means there is a concrete crushing. There yeah. is a concrete failure before your rebar fails. Okay. So I am making this concrete itself more ductile to behave in a ductile manner uh, by using different dosages. Mm -hmm. So for particular uh, application, we have to design it properly. Uh, when we use right amount of uh, these fibers in concrete, uh, so what we can do, uh, we can improve the ductility to the right optimal amount. Mm -hmm. it, it should not be so high. It should not be so less. It has to be designed properly again. Yeah. Got yeah. it. So... Yeah, uh, we have tested, uh, as a part of my research, we have tested uh, columns, full-scale columns, full-scale beams, and prisms as a material uh, property study. Uh, so prisms uh, and cylinders, cubes, also we have tested. Okay. So, so material characterization along with the uh, full-scale behavior characterization is done. Okay. So we have published already. So, yeah. Nice. My PhD is from IIT Hyderabad. So our lab name is Cashcon okay. Lab, IIT Hyderabad. Uh, so under the guidance of Prof Professor Surya Prakash. So along with uh, me, uh, so one of the my junior uh, master student, uh, Mr. Balaji and Guru Basava Hiremat, Cashcon okay. Lab, IIT Hyderabad, PhD scholar, and then PhD, Mr. Jay Prakash, again PhD scholar, who is working in BFRP uh, as a reinforcement, uh, especially in this uh, fire loading conditions. So I think your research is helping industry utilize GFRP rebar where it is falling short, that is less modulus of elasticity. We understand the tensile strength is very high, but all these uh, shortcomings is where you are working currently. And I yes. think as industry, GFRP rebar's industry, we are very grateful to you and your research. What are other advantages of GFRP rebar's that you have uh, seen in this research that can contribute to construction industry? Uh, basically, this is non-magnetic 
it 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 conducts less amount of uh, thermal conductivity is low and uh, it does not conduct any electricity that is the additional where electromagnetic fields comes into picture these kind of applications uh, gfrp can be used as a reinforcement because steel can uh, conduct the electricity through this electromagnetic field how do they contribute to the understanding of gfrp rebar applications in india so in our study we have found that uh, gfrp rebar showed excellent performance when used uh, with the right amount of fiber uh, reinforcement uh, basically this discrete fiber reinforcement which we are adding to the concrete again so uh, it has uh, so we have to design it properly uh, design is the primary thing it has to be designed well because it's not like uh, steel reinforcement it does not yield so we have to consider the design criteria accordingly and we have to use these fibers uh, which we are using in concrete discrete fibers uh, accordingly like how much is required optimal amount we have to use that has to be decided again based on the research so uh, research already showed that uh, using the higher amount of gfrp reinforcement can help with the ductility related issue so all the research has been done based on this gfrp alone as a reinforcement but we have to add something to concrete in addition to this uh, 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 gfrp reinforcement so that we can improve the ductility by using the concrete part basically so uh, we found that using optimal dosage of frc uh, that is fiber reinforced concrete uh, in gfrp reinforcement can equally contribute to the ductility of gfrp rc elements how do you envision the potential impact of gfrp rebar on the indian construction industry considering factors such as sustainability infrastructure development and adoption of advanced material and technologies okay uh, so to answer this uh, the adoption of gfrp rebar in the indian construction industry has the potential to bring uh, about several uh, significant impacts such as sustainability as you told sustainability is the first thing because gfrp offers corrosion resistance yeah. so we have a corrosion resistance so it can be used in a corrosion dominant uh, environment mm -hmm. and reducing the need of maintenance and repair so we need not to use uh, if we are using gfrp there is no need to maintain conventional steel uh, it can corrode and we have to wrap it or so, some additional thing has to be done to maintain that so uh, there is no need of this so basically this will uh, give the longevity uh, so that that translates uh, to sustainable infrastructure so introducing the uh, reducing the environmental impact also uh, is one of the point so one more thing is uh, infrastructure development india's infrastructure demand is substantial and uh, gfrp rebars could contribute to the development of durable structures it can be durable for 50 to 100 years also okay. so and uh, it's, it's it's potentially leading to a safer and more resilient building and bridges uh, if we use the right design again right design has to be done so it is basically a advanced material in, even in terms of cost effectiveness if you see uh, so uh, if you see the life cycle cost of a gfrp reinforced structure and uh, uh, steel conventional steel uh, reinforced structure life cycle cost is much much lower when we compare uh, this gfrp lastly for students and researchers interested in pursuing a similar path what advice would you offer to make the most of their phd research in gfrp industry uh, diving into phd focused on gfrp rebar uh, in india can be incredibly rewarding i can say that because it's the peak time now so uh, we have a codal provision also in this area so some of the points to remember are uh, deep understanding is really important the concept behind the gfrp uh, how it is coming the design criteria its behavior uh, understanding the material behavior and uh, manu manufacturing process itself and uh, the interaction between this concrete uh, is very crucial to say so uh, identifying the research gap is uh, basic thing again we have to understand the basics uh, after that research gap has to be understood very well so that we can do a novel work basically so with a comprehensive literature review and identifying the existing gaps and resolving the issues in the field uh, so that can help uh, that can impact significantly by addressing these gaps uh, with an innovative research so collaboration and networking at the same time is really important you uh, i suggest uh, collaborate with the industrial experts uh, like like uh, you you guys are there five are there already so mm -hmm. research institutions where professionals in the field so networking can offer insights to the real world challenges and uh, access to the resources also so potential partnership uh, a particular application of uh, research can be very helpful so again one more thing is standardization and guidelines uh, consider contributing to the development of standards uh, in yeah, the gfrp as a reinforcement uh, that, that guideline specifics to gfrp rebar use in india uh, the research can significantly impact industry practices and uh, also regulations yes so uh, there is another uh, approach like inter interdisciplinary approach uh, you can uh, embrace the interdisciplinary approach by combining the elements of material science structural engineering sustainability uh, yeah. to provide the holistic uh, view of uh, impact and potential application of these gfrp rebar so publications is really important and uh, we have to publish as much as possible so yeah. that's what sharing uh, knowledge yeah <laughs> definitely 
ओके थैंक यू सो मच गणपति फॉर एनकरेजिंग यंग प्रोफेशनल्स टू डू मोर एंड मोर रिसर्च इन दिस बी एफ आर पी इंडस्ट्री एंड शेयरिंग योर एक्सपीरियंस विद अस थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग योर टाइम थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच